So the locus form of an equation of a parabola whose vertex is at the origin, whose axis is vertical, is shown right here. If P is positive, the focus is above the axis, the x-axis, and the directrix is the same distance, so the same distance from the focus to the vertex and the same distance from the vertex to the directrix. So this dimension here is going to be congruent to this dimension here. All right, so parabolic reflectors have the shape formed when a parabola is revolved about its axis of symmetry. So think like the shape of a contact lens or the shape of a satellite dish or a, um, the head of a flashlight. If you were to take it apart and look, you would see that it was a silver bowl shape and it has a light bulb in the center. So what happens with a flashlight is you have a light bulb that's placed right here at the focus point, And then that light is reflected out to the parabolic reflector. And then that light goes outward. Uh, with a satellite dish, the signal is received and then reflected inside to a receiver. So you could either transmit light, sound, energy, radio waves um, out to the planet or out in front of you, or you could receive from multiple sources and it gets bounced into the center to a receiver. So we can calculate where that focal point is based on the equation of the parabola. So let's look and see what 68.4 is um, asking of us. So it says the reflecting surface of a parabolic antenna, we'll just pretend this is it, has the shape of a parabola y equals 1 over 20 x squared. How far above the vertex, this is the vertex right here, should the receiver be placed in the dimensions r in feet? So we know, first of all, we say equal, uh, y is equal to 1 over 20 x squared, right? That our, is our parabola equation. We know that this can be rewritten as y is equal to ax squared, right? And we also know that a is equal to 1 over 4p. So that means that 1 over 20 is equal to 1 over 4p. Now p is going to be the distance between the focus and the vertex. So we just need to find the value of p here. So if 120 is equal to 1 over 4p, we just divide 20 by 4 and we get that 5 is the value of p. So that means that our focus is going to be 5 feet above the vertex. It's that easy. Pretty straightforward. So from here to here is going to be 5 feet. And that is going to receive that um, any transmissions or it's going to equally transmit anything that goes out as well. All right, so let's do a couple practice problems and then we will talk about derivation.